why is it sometimes that people don't engage with therapy? Yeah, they know they need the therapy, they know therapy works, but they don't do it. Why? I'll tell you why. In my experience, what happens is the person is gaining some significance from their illness or disease. They find it's a way of connecting to people when they're sick. Well, that's their way of connecting to people by being sick. Because if they weren't sick, then maybe people would move on. Maybe they haven't got the skills yet, as yet, to connect to other people without their sickness. Because they're used to people coming out and going, oh, how are you going? You going all right today? And they go, oh, yeah, I'm doing better. But once they start doing better, start getting well, then they lose, start to lose significance. And there's a fear, and it's an imaginary fear, that they won't be able, to, on an unconscious level, that they will not be able to connect to people. It becomes scary, it becomes uncertain. So what, happen, what happens is they sabotage the process of healing. They back away, they stop, stop going to sessions. They, they, because on an unconscious level, they fear losing that ability to connect with others without their particular illness or disease. So that's why, that's another, you know, human beings are very, we've got very complex behavioral systems going on where, you know, sometimes we will not engage with the process of healing if we, if we feel that we lose that potential to connect with others. And, and if, if for years and years and decades, decades even, where you that's been your way to connect with people, people come around and go, oh, how you going? I brought you a major cup of tea, I brought you some chocolates. I want to see that you're, how you doing? You're doing better? You're doing better? And people go, yeah, I'm doing better. But once they start getting better, then people stop coming around because they think, oh, they're doing better now. They don't really need me. They're independent. I'll go and help other people who need helping. And on a conscious level, they've lost that connection with those great people. So there is definitely a secondary game. Secondary game for being sick. And that's something that, you know, you've got to work out within yourself. And that's why if you are committed to healing, you absolutely will heal. If you're committed to healing, you absolutely will heal. But you've got to understand that it's a complex process of working through those complex emotions in yourself and finding new ways as you grow, because as you heal and as you grow, you've got to find new and more productive ways to connect and find a life's destiny, find a purpose in your life that you're going to do and you're going to achieve. This is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can heal your life now. Have an awesome day.